Hello guys, this is Jimmy and um, welcome to the channel. So uh, it has been a crazy year, 2019. It's been a big year for hemp and also for cannabis. And uh, I started this channel, I was intended to do more video, but uh, it turns out that uh, my 2019 was too busy. I traveled 60 times of my times to all the all around the US to set up all different kinds of machine. I set up in total about 12 production line in the 2019. And two of them are large. You can do about uh, 50 kilograms of distillates or isolates each uh, hour. And uh, uh, six of them are medium. They can do about um, 10 to 10, about 10 liters per hour. And the rest of them are small. They can only do five, five liters for two liters an hour. So today we have a video that uh, I done it about uh, four months ago in the uh, Southern California. It's about two hour drive from downtown LA. And that unit is uh, called six inch glass white film distillation units. They can, that one can do about four liters per hour of uh, crude oil. And um, about the lab. So that lab, they use uh, BHO extraction method. Um, in their laboratory, they have a C1D1 room with a few BHO container and they do all those extraction within the C1D1 room. So this system, uh, glass system, take me about a three hours to set it up and I have a uh, time lapse on how I set it up. Please um, take a look.
Okay, um, after I set up the machine, um, they give me the crude oil for asking me for a demo and show them how to make the crude oil into a golden color distillates. Um, unfortunately, the, um, the crude oil that they present to me is not good enough. Here's a photo of the uh, crude oil. So as you can see from the photo that the, uh, the crude oil is not uh, being winterized and it's not being deep curved and uh, it's not being filtered. And the worst thing among them is that this crude oil has a high amount of sugar in it because you can see from the top of the crude oil they have a, a very reflective layer that's more like a sugar cluster from the desserts. So that indicates this crude oil has a high amount of uh, sugar concentration in it. So this crude oil is straight out from BHO extraction tank. So they haven't, because um, when I was there, they don't know much about the how this region works. So they didn't prepare the crude oil into a proper um, conditions. And here's a photo of the uh, proper prepared crude oil and uh, from another lab that I visit. So the crude oil that has been well prepared is um, they have a very smooth looking and it's quite reflective but there's no any kind of crystallization on top of it. So um, even though I got a shitty crude oil but I still have to run it to show them to teach them how the machine works. So I start a machine and get to a good good vacuum um, pressure and then start feeding and uh, the result is not bad um, even though that I know that the crude oil the distillates that they got that day would not be sellable because they has to be mixing the distillates that they got with the uh, the crash and then redo the filtration and the power and uh, wash it with wash it and until the sugar is gone and uh, here's a video on the uh, how the machine work how the distillates come out As you can see from the video, the uh, distillate is not crystal clear. Usually though we see um, the form of uh, the color and the form of the distillate is usually yellow to golden and it's transparent, very transparent. But um, the crude oil that you see in this video is semi-transparent, which means that there's a high amount of wax in it. Um, because the crude oil is not being well prepared, the wax that's remain in the crude oil and then they got carried over during the process. So that's why if you see your crude oil, if you see your distillates is foggy, which means that you are not doing winterization well. Um, okay, anyway, so this is how the uh, machine work and uh, let me know if you have any question um, regards to the machine. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.